Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack? I like a jack smack, and it's Waffle Man with a video. And today I will be showing you how to buy attribute boost in NBA 2K18. Now, first of all, you're gonna receive a message saying that the Main Street News Store would like to sponsor you. So all you gotta do is go to your mic court. Once you get that message, he's gonna say, go around and wear the shirt that they give you around the neighborhood. And that's basically most of the freaking endorsements in this game is to go around and wear a t-shirt around the neighborhood. Pretty pointless, but you gotta go all the way to your mic court because 2K makes it inconvenient for you to change your clothes on the fly. You have to go all the way back to your mic court. It's a lot of things in this game that's very inconvenient. But you're gonna get the t-shirt, you're gonna put it on, and you're gonna start walking or running around. And uh, eventually, you're gonna be able to go to the store and then purchase your attribute boost man now these attribute boosts they come in packs you're gonna see but it's really useful if you want an extra boost to your shooting you might be a rebounder or a big man that wants an extra boost to your shooting you might be another archetype that might not be a greatest shooter you might be like a slasher and you might want to be a, a better mid-range shooter so these boosts are good for archetypes like that i really don't need any boost to be honest i've been not not have been using boost but you're gonna go to the store right here and it's gonna activate a little cutscene real quick i mean listen be DJ. I'm enough to go around you got it so basically this guy tells you that he's got some inventory other than magazines to sell and he's gonna finally start selling it to you because you did him the favor of wearing the t-shirt around DJ. town Great to see so you, this is man. the store you gotta go to and then you see right there you press triangle and you get skill boost and these skill boosts, you can buy them in a pack. You get uh, 10k is a two, I mean, 2k VC is 10 games, of course. One game is 200, which I believe was the amount in 2k 17. So at least the VC prices for the skills did not change, at least it stayed the same. Uh, but they did add some new categories. I mean, they got a steel category as a boost now, which I wouldn't even do. But yeah, man, you can buy these boosts, it's not gonna show up in your attributes you know it's going to show up like this right here but you actually won't see the increases in the menu if you go to your to the menu you're not going to see any change in the skills but like i said man 2k is really trying to make us spend that vc with the archetypes with the freaking animations the emotions with the haircuts the tattoos 2k is really finessing us out of this vc and i'm actually might be changing my lockdown defender build man i mean listen man i'm looking at my lockdown defender ratings and i'm like it could be a little bit better man but you know what i can't do anything about that because 2k doesn't let us see the ratings before we make the archetype and spend the bc so anyways man hope you guys find this helpful i'm out for now leave a like for more peace